Okay, quick update. Uh, I had started a video on building a hoop house, so I'm going to do a little more on it today. Uh, we cut all the limas back because I'm not really worried about harvesting them. Lima beans are cheap right now, and I've got plenty of seed. So we just cut them back so we can change the fence because I wasn't, I guess I wasn't thinking this is the south side of the bed. So now during the winter, the sunlight coming from the south, all the lima bean vines up on this fence were shading the beds. So I'm going to have to redo the fence systems in the beds. I think I'm just going to take and put a, a, a climbing wall against this end with the wire mesh, maybe uh, one in the middle and one on the other end, uh, and then just do some support wiring off the, the stakes again, off these stakes, just some ties back and forth to help support tomatoes and to get this eggplant back up. So, uh, well, we just cut, kind of cut down one side, took the lima beans off. They're in a pile over there by those pots and stuff, if you can see that. Um, Sorry for the rapid movement. And folded the other ones forward because until I get some stuff growing here, I don't want to pull them up completely. So once we get this uh, little rabbit fence I've got along the back of here off, we're going to flop the lima beans and just let them hang over here. Like I said, we'll take right here and we'll go across just from this, from the front to back of the bed with a divider of the wire mesh, another one here and one on the other end. And uh, that should take care of that. So. Uh, but anyway, I went to Lowe's today and they had their little uh, starter plants, uh, seedlings, whatever you want to call them, uh, half price. So I just went ahead and bought some stuff. We started some seeds, but we kind of started them late. So I went ahead and bought several uh, nine sheets, a couple of things of broccoli, a cauliflower, cabbage, some collards, some mustard greens, and uh, spinach, and some other stuff. But here's part of the reason for the hoop house. You see him hopping around over there. It comes hopping out of nowhere. A tame rabbit that we kind of adopted. He's in our backyard. He can't really get out, and the wife's feeding him, so uh, he was eating everything in the beds. But and anyway, this is how I'm building the hoop house. I'm going to, I'm 25 foot sections. I'm taking two 10 foot lengths of the electrical PVC conduit, one inch, and adding five foot. And that's going to be my hoop, my basic hoop. Okay. Then you run stakes down. Uh, I'll show you a little bit better right over here. It's, it's still a mess out here. Got stuff all over the place because I just had to stop messing with it. But I figured if I'm going to do anything else, I'll throw it in here too. So all this stuff has got to be, but that's where I cut out. There's all the PVC from where I cut out the uh, breathing system indoors. But then here, if you can see, I, I drove the stake on the end. I ran a string line down through and I'm going to drive all my other stakes along this string line. Of course, I just hit it and knocked it out. But I've only got two more I've got to drive, then I'm going to have to cut the ends off where they've swelled out a little bit too much to slide the PVC over, and then that's all I do. Cut the string out of the way, make up my sections of PVC, I've already got them made up laying here on the ground waiting, and then just one person on each side, and bow them across. Now when I'm done with that, I don't really pay much attention to how other people do it, but I want this one to be able to stand up to thunderstorms and stuff. There's the rabbit. There he is. He's over here after the those young tender lima bean leaves that we knocked down. But I took some deck boards. It's basically the ones I had running around the bottom that were going to be my frame for the larger greenhouse. We went ahead and pulled it up since they're not going to be there anymore anyway. And I ripped them down and I'm going to bolt them along the bows to help support the bows and brace the bows and it'll give me something to attach the plastic to. And I cut them, when I ripped them, I did it in such a way that out of the center of them, I got an extra little half inch thick piece. And I can take that half inch thick piece after I run the plastic, put it over the top of the plastic and staples and drive some nails through it to give more, uh, a more solid footing than just staples would, uh, so it doesn't blow off as easily. So, but at, at first we had smaller hoops over the grow beds. They didn't cover as far of a distance. And then I decided, well, I might want to, you know, if we're going to be growing this stuff while I'm still here, I might as well go ahead and uh, make some kind of heater and put in there. So when we do have cold nights, I've got the tank from a, a water heater. I'm going back and forth, whether I want to do a mass heater with a, a rocket or uh, just go ahead and take that hot water heater and make like a, uh, just a cast iron stove type situation out of it. I mean, it won't have a flat cooking surface. It'll just be a round uh, wood burner. 
and just throw it in there for heat. Once the metal heats up, just start a fire, bank it, go to bed, and by the time the coals die down and then the metal itself cools down, it should keep the greenhouse pretty much warm all night long. So that's going to be my heating solution, but that's why I decided to go ahead and keep the same width all the way through the greenhouse. That way I can put the, the cast iron stove over here in the middle, nearer to the tanks anyway, say like right here in the center, vent it out of the top, and that way I can have heat close to the tanks to help keep the water warmer there and to keep the entire greenhouse warmer and uh, without risking melting the plastic, plastic or doing anything else. So, but at any rate, uh, let me get a little more done and we'll, we'll shoot up some more video. I, like I said, I've got a couple more stakes to drive in. Uh, we've got a lot of trash and stuff to pick up yet from where we're going through stuff. But uh, let me get these stakes in, get the bows up, and start running some of the uh, slats down.